Ich möchte mich äh, äh, an diesen Spekulationen, die ja auch teilweise durch die Presse gehen, nicht beteiligen. I will not take part in the speculation that has been in the press. I think we're better off waiting for the result of Jones Day's investigations. We are all impatient. I am as well. However, I think we should wait for a couple of days more. Jones Day and Volkswagen have said they will publish a report in early April. Then we'll know the whole story. And I think we should be careful and not preempt the results of that. Are you confident that a scandal like this could not happen again? We have drawn our conclusions and learned from them. We've reorganized our internal procedures and optimized them so that, to the best of our knowledge, such a thing should never happen again. You can never be 100% sure, but we are confident. Looking at the financial side of things, Volkswagen set aside 6.7 billion euros to cover the costs, or the initial costs at least, of the scandal. Now that you've spoken to the lawyers and you've spoken to the authorities in America in particular, do you still think that 6.7 billion euros will be enough or anywhere near enough? First of all, the 6.7 billion is a reality. We've postponed our year-end financial results and the AGM to improve their quality so that we can be even more confident and take even more care and diligence in establishing the figures. Then we'll see if we have to make additional provisions over and above the 6.7 billion. And those additional provisions could be very large, couldn't they? Because you also have a case brought by the Department of Justice. We say this is all speculation. The figures being referred to range from small amounts to very large. We will not engage in speculation. We are engaged in a constructive dialogue with the American authorities. We expect them to be strong but fair. And from there, we'll have to see what happens over the next few weeks.